Hey, what's up people? Today I'm going to be showing you guys what is, in my opinion, probably one of the most easiest ways to create some music of your own um, for your YouTube video. So if you're a vlogger, if you um, just start a YouTube channel of any kind, everybody knows you need music. Music is what conveys the mood and, and all that stuff for, for your videos. It's a really important aspect of your videos, and I think most of you guys know that. So, like I said, this is probably the easiest way that I know to create your own music. The fastest way, the easiest way. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using GarageBand. And I'm just going to be doing it straight from, this is my wife's phone, that's why it's got a pink case. <laughs> so this is my wife's iPhone SE. She just got this not that long ago, and it came with GarageBand on it. So, uh, I mean, if you're getting a phone, if you already have a phone, for most of you guys, it's going to be on the phone anyway. So it's a free way that you can start creating some music and start playing around with different sounds and different textures and try to come up with different feels for the music that you want for your video. Completely free, very easy, very fast, and I'll show you guys here in a second. So what we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the phone, click into GarageBand. All right, guys. So a screen will probably pop up. It'll look something like this. I'll have all these different tracks, so you can try to um, pick an instrument and start recording something. So what I choose is I go to Live Loops at the top. You have all these different genres you can pick from. So you got EDM, hip hop, dubstep, yada yada yada. Got a couple more over here. Um, so you can kind of choose the feel that you're wanting. And then you can just dive into that. It'll have a bunch of pre-recorded live loops. So I'll sh show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'll go into hip hop. And it'll load up here in a minute. <laughs> and it'll come up with some pre-recorded uh, live loops for us that are like, I think it's like um, four bars long or something like that. Um, so it's got all these different sounds that, that are pre-recorded on here. So you got the synths and sound effects and... Um, different beats and stuff like that so um, I'll just run you guys through what I like to do and how I kind of try to create something really quick really easy that sounds really good too so um, so here what I like to do first is I like to like to look for something um, melodic first to set the kind of set the mood for the whole track so let's go ahead come down here and we'll just select um, hmm select this one here so all you do is tap on it Oh man, how am I gonna hear this? Why are they not playing through here? Oh, that's why. Alright. Now we got that. We can come up to the beats and select a beat and see what we want to choose. So we just select one. And it'll come in on time, so when I tap it, it'll come in automatically. And let's say that I don't like that, that weird little synth vibe, I can change it up. And then now what you can do is you can just start choosing different textures and playing around with the sounds and seeing what kind of feel that you want. So, you should come up here to this little synth. Alright, so I think I got a couple of things that I like, so I'm going to come down here and I'm going to start recording because I can do a live recording of it. So I can come down and it'll come in on time, so I'll choose that. So it's, all, it's live recording it. Alright guys, so now we got a little bit of recorded, we got about 8 bars recorded. So now from this screen what you want to do is you want to come up and hit this uh, track button right here. It'll take you to your actual wavelength track that, so you can actually see what you recorded. So the problem is here, we re we only recorded 8 bars, so this is all we have. So what we want to want to do is we're going to want to make this a little bit longer. Hit this add button right here, change the number of bars. We can change them up to 16 or however many you want. It's depending on the, the recording size or how long you're wanting to record something. So um, then you can hit done. So now we got a, a, a track that's twice as long. So what you can do is you can take these, you can copy paste and move them around um, 
and just keep looping stuff or you can save this as one separate recording record something else and, and split those together um, you can kind of do whatever you want um, or what you can do is you can go and you can just re-record um, re it live let it play and record all that stuff that's probably the easiest way to do it um, so then you get a track that sounds like this now what you guys are going to want to do is if, if you have everything recorded you have the exact sound you want the exact you know everything's good you want to come up hit this arrow at the top, to the top left, hit my songs. It'll take you to all the different songs and tracks that you've, that you've actually created. Um, and you can hold that and then come up here and hit share. You can, you can uh, send it uh, as an audio file, a ringtone, or as a, a GarageBand project. So if you want to send it to your computer or something like that, you can save it as a file, GarageBand file, or if you want to share it to iTunes, the song. So we're going to choose song. So choose the quality. Um, you can put in your name as artist, all that stuff. Hit share. So then, so that it comes up and it shows my computer. I can airdrop it to my computer. You can put it on SoundCloud, email it, or you can drop it in iTunes. We're going to drop it in iTunes. So now it's sending it to iTunes. So now you're going to have this actual song, this actual file in your iTunes. So then, um, so then you just created your first song and you can drag and drop it onto your timeline for your videos. All right, guys. So there you go. That is um, the fastest, easiest way to create your own music for your YouTube vlog or for whatever you're doing on YouTube. Um, it'll make your videos more unique because you know, you're the one creating it. Um, and it's just a really cool way if you're a creative person that you like to create your own stuff or if you just don't want to worry about copyright anything, this is a good simple fix um, to just make your own music and set your own moods for your videos. And it's really, really cool, really, really fun, really, really easy. And I think you guys will really enjoy it. So if you like this um, video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Um, we have uh, vlogs here like every single week, um, challenge videos and how-to videos just like this. So if you guys enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.